In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to use Zoom to broadcast live on Facebook, which is especially powerful if you're interviewing guests on Facebook Live using Zoom because it's a lot easier to do this on Zoom. So first off, why should we use Zoom for Facebook Lives? Um, honestly, there's other platforms out there, among them Be Live. So I'm not saying that's the only game in town. Uh, Be Live gives you a free 20 minute broadcast twice a week for free. So you could start there. Um, but obviously, if you have longer Facebook lives with your guests um, going beyond 20 minutes, then you would have to upgrade to a light account, which is uh, $16 a month. Um, if we're going monthly, it's $20 a month. And you know you have a number of options here, um, but a lot of practitioners are uh, comfortable with Zoom. They use it for telemedicine. So um, you know, asking your interview guests to meet you on Zoom, and then they can share the screen, they can share the camera, etc. It's very straightforward. The other reason why Zoom is powerful is if you wanted to use the interview in other platforms, let's say you wanted to repost it to YouTube. Um, when you record in Zoom, you get a lot higher quality video from your interview as opposed to broadcasting straight from Facebook, um, which gives you a lot smaller size and gets pixelated if you try to enlarge it. Um, and as I said before, interviewing guests on Facebook Live is really, really tricky if you try to do it on a Facebook platform. So there's specific device requirements. Both of you have to be on um, an iPhone. Um, the guest has to be in the same group. If you're broadcasting into a group, um, the guests can share their screen. So it gets really complicated. Um, and if you've ever tried to interview a guest on, you know, just using Facebook Live, um, software, then you know you know how difficult it is. Now the process to use Zoom meetings or Zoom webinars to live stream into Facebook goes as follows. So first you have to get a Zoom Pro account. You need a Pro version. You can't use the basic free one. And then you also have to add here the video webinar add-on, uh, which is forty dollars a month. And you can go month by month. So you can just sign up for one month and not have it um, renew. So that's perfectly fine. The next thing that you need to do is that by default, that webinar option is not associated with your Zoom account. So even though you purchase it under um, your plan, what you have to go here in the admin section, profile, admin, users. You may have multiple users in your account. And then if you click the edit button at the end, you have to check this box here for webinar. Um, so that the webinar option becomes actually available in the Zoom account. So once you have that in place, we then set up the uh, uh, Facebook Live. So you just go here to webinars, click on schedule webinar, and um, call it title of Facebook Live. This is only shown in Zoom, so you can do whatever you want to do here. And then you set the time. You can um, do this in the future and you can always start uh, a Facebook Live earlier or later based on what was scheduled here. So I'm just going to uh, leave this as is, duration one hour, and then um, I'm just do video, make this for host and panelists on, um, audio both, doesn't really matter what you check here, and then you click schedule. So it's super simple to set this up. And then you go here, link to join webinar. This is what you email your interview guests. So you go into send them an email saying, hey, so and so here's the link to join me on the Facebook Live. It's a Zoom meeting. So let's meet in Zoom five minutes before we start so we can go over the logistics. And if you want, you can also share your screen. So you can see that that Zoom link has a J in here that stands for join. So that tells you that's the link that your guests are using to join you on Zoom. And then you send that out. And then once we're in Zoom, um, you're ready to um, start this webinar. You know, let's say it's it's five minutes before you want to kick this off. You can then click start this webinar. And again, this will now start it. And you see now on your screen here that it opens a Zoom meeting. And you have these more buttons here that you can go live on Facebook. So on, until you click the live on Facebook, nothing is going to happen. So what we're going to do next is um, I'll have 
that other person joined so you can see um, what it looks like on screen. All right, now you can see that my guest has joined and because we had the option um, that the panelist is sharing um, their screen, um, it's, it's very easy to get them on there. So sometimes when uh, people join as an attendee, what you have to do is you click on their name and then more and then you can um, have an option here make this person a panelist so both of you have to be a panelist and since I'm joining here twice you can see this um, so then you can verify that you can both see each other um, you have the option to um, change the view so you can have both of you next to each other and you can record that um, you can also have you know the gallery view where you just have the thumbnails above um, but usually you know I'm going with the speaker view so you have both on screen you know again as a panelist you could share your screen um, and again um, click the share button here and then you have the option whether you want to share your entire desktop and you could share a PowerPoint presentation for instance or if you have specific application windows and you click share so it goes um, exactly like a regular zoom meeting and so then as the host what you do is to go live is you click here on the more button and then we're gonna go live on Facebook and so now you get an option where you want to go live on Facebook and this is one of the advantages of using zoom that doesn't matter where your interview guests if they're in your group or your profile you can now share in a group you can share as an event, share on the page you manage, share on your personal profile timeline. So now we're going to go live in a group and you just type in the group that you're a member of and it shows up and then you click next. So you type a description so that people know what the Facebook Live is and then you click the go live button and then both you and your guests are officially live. And the one thing that you want to make sure is when you're going live is that you check your uh, Facebook group um, where you're going live and just make sure that the live stream is indeed streaming um, so you know your life. Uh, once you're done with your Facebook live, um, essentially in Zoom, you have uh, the button here in the top left corner, um, stop live stream and that stops the live stream so uh, the notification um, disappears and then you can keep talking with your interview guests and then you can terminate the meeting and you're done. So I hope this video tutorial on how to do uh, Facebook lives using Zoom webinar was helpful. Uh, if you need help deciding on the best next steps for you and your practice, I'm offering a complimentary 30-minute strategy session where we can review your goals and needs and see if it is makes sense to you on partnering together on your practice marketing. So um, go to bigboost.marketing apply and we take it from there. See you in the next video.